I do love shooting videos because I'm a natural at this. And it's really not because I want the attention. I was thinking about some videos that I shot in my uh, first channel. And I was thinking about how counterculture they were. For those of you that don't know, I had this one channel, it was called Aimless, because it's a, a play on my name, Amy. It's also a play on my A D D D D, -D and it's also a play on the fact that I don't have much direction other than the direction of the Lord. Well, the Lord wanted me to shoot videos of myself taking a crap. And the reason why he wanted me to do that was to showcase how everybody else is constantly doing that and they don't even know it. So just because you're not shooting an actual video of yourself taking an actual crap doesn't mean that that's not what you're doing all the time. Because people that constantly post about their life, they don't realize that they're just taking a shit, okay? They don't realize that because they don't have the awareness. They're not cognizant of these things. Now, these videos were an obvious rebuttal to this culture. These videos were my reaction to the world being in the state that it's in. Specifically with social media, okay? Now, of course people misinterpreted this. Of course there were so many people utterly disgusted and they didn't get it. They didn't get that this was my attack on modern day society. They didn't get that everything that I do that's weird or obscure or off the cuff or off the wall, whatever you want to call it, all of these things that I do are because I find them funny. I find them funny because I'm a comedian. You see, I'm a comedian. And if I find it funny, the risk is putting it out there and going, I wonder if somebody else will find this funny. Okay? Now, a lot of people didn't find it funny. They didn't understand it. But some people did. And they told me to keep doing it because of how off the wall it was. And they understood my reaction to the culture. And they agreed with me. And they said, yeah, people document a bunch of shit all the time that's just so stupid. So it makes perfect sense why you're doing this. And I agree with it. You should keep doing it. But not only did people completely misinterpret it and think that I was just doing it for attention, as if that's the kind of attention I want to draw to myself, there were a lot of people, specifically men, who were turned on by this and saw it as pornographic. And they told me to do an OnlyFans of myself just taking a crap. <laughs> and these are the people that I wish would just fucking kill themselves already because they'll never understand why people do the things that they do they'll never understand that because they think that you're doing everything for them you know you're doing everything because you want their attention there's something that you're trying to gain by being weird I'm not trying to gain anything at all I'm trying to put something out there. I want you to see it and understand it so you can relate to it. But you have any idea how many people would request that I do close-ups on my asshole. I do close-ups on the fecal matter falling out of my asshole into the toilet. People would ask me, shit in my mouth. People would ask me, will you take a dump on my chest? Now I'm not above that, okay? But I'm just saying. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous that people would, would watch that and they'd assume that that's why I was putting it out there. In light of my other videos, in light of everything that I talk about, so very clearly, you don't pay attention to anything else about me. So you just purposely misinterpret me and you think this is about you. Go to hell. Go to hell. Fuck you. <laughs> Calm down, damn it. <laughs> I love how you're reacting to videos. Like, the, uh, 
response that she got from videos that are like years and years old. No, but it still pisses me off. But I'm actually kind of glad that like that first channel, uh, I was knocked out of it because I, I don't know how to use technology apparently. I mean, I feel like this is obvious to everybody watching my shit. Uh, but, you know, I, I think that's why that happened. I feel like God wanted me to move on to like another chapter of my life. You know, it's like no more poop videos. People are getting the wrong impression of this. But yeah, um, I thought that I would I would give a shout out to, to some of my old videos and give give a little bit of an explanation as to why you know I thought that that stuff was necessary. But you know, obviously it wasn't just about me shooting these videos of myself taking a crap, you know? I shot videos of myself taking a piss. I shot videos of myself pulling out my tampon. You know, it's like all this stuff that's totally natural that freaks people out. I just think it's funny when, when people document all this other shit that's totally worthless, but then they want to say, oh, that's crazy. That's crazy that you document yourself taking a crap, you know? I mean, that's some classic United Kingdom shit right there. <laughs> Yeah, man, I feel like you would do really well in the United Kingdom in like, I don't know, 1977. Not really the United States, 2021, but whatever. Whatever. But anyway, I wanted to tell you guys something really exciting now. Uh, I started my menstrual cycle. I started my menstrual cycle and I immediately thanked God. I put in a tampon and I said, this is so cool, Lord. Thank you so much for giving me this gift. I could give life, I could create breath, you know how cool that shit is? The fact that women take that for granted, the fact that women don't understand that makes me sick to my stomach.